Hello and welcome to my easy to understand guide to the Spectre film poster, which is a set text for GCSE media studies. If it appears in section B of component one, it will be about Spectre, the film, in an industries question only, and you will be expected to talk about the film as a whole. But if it appears in section A, it could be as a media language question, where you will be expected to deconstruct specific parts of the poster, or as a longer representation question worth more marks in comparison to an unseen film poster that they will provide in the exam. So in this video, I'm going to go through the media language and representation for the set Spectre film poster. If we start with costumes, Bond's character is seen as wearing a white tuxedo with a black tie, a black bow tie. Um, a suit in general with a, with a um, bow tie is normally seen as representing or signifying somebody as being quite wealthy, quite middle to upper class and quite powerful and dominant because these kinds of suits are often quite expensive and only ever worn to quite upper class events. The white tuxedo is actually quite unfashionable at the time the film was made, although this film actually had an impact on society where a lot of men, in particular celebrities such as David Beckham, started wearing white tuxedos because the film made them fashionable again. However, the suit could be seen as an intertextual reference to previous Bond movies where actors who'd played Bond before had been seen in an almost identical suit. So it could have been chosen in order to draw in an audience who were familiar with the previous films. Red flower in his pocket might be there to signify that he's a little bit dangerous, um, a little bit violent or even a little bit sexy. The white colour of Bond's suit also connotes that he is highly likely to be the hero or the good guy, the protagonist of the film, whereas the darker colours of the character in the background suggest that they are likely to be the villain or the antagonist. Bond is holding a gun. This prop uh, normally suggests that obviously the character is quite aggressive, quite violent, quite dominant and powerful as well, um, and makes him seem like the kind of heroic character that we expect in most films like this. His serious facial expression with his direct gaze looking straight at the audience makes him seem cool, calm, collected, serious and ready for action. In the background of the poster, there's an image of a uh, Day of the Dead um, skull kind of mask or costume. Um, this acts as an enigma code for the audience because if they're unfamiliar with the film, they don't know what it's about, they don't know what it's there for, they don't know who it is. But we often associate skulls with death and therefore there is an association or an assumption that this may be a villain in the film. Certainly it implies that the narrative of the film might include Day of the Dead, which is a Mexican festival, and it also might include death of some kind. The idea of masks and disguising your identity is something that goes hand in hand with the spy genre as well. It adds an element of fear and mystery, and it connotes there might be some scary scenes within the film too. The word spectre for the title actually means kind of ghost or spirit. And so that adds to the uh, genre of the film. It adds to this element of mystery. Um, and it again connotes the narrative that it might involve maybe somebody dying or death in some way. They include the familiar 007 logo with the gun as part of the seven. This would be familiar reference to audiences that have been on every other Bond poster in the past. And um, again, the gun connotes action and violence. Mention of the words IMAX at the bottom would be a good way of engaging modern audiences who like new technologies.